Okay, we are now back for my very favorite part of the podcast, which is show us your pipe. Uh, this year, this uh, this round, I wanted to change it up a little bit away from the diamond plate. We've had a lot of diamond play. <laughs> you know, it's Matthew's favorite, but I got to make the call this time. Uh, so we did a little uh, a little bit different. Uh, looks like a commercial install. It's some AO Smith common vented systems, both on the intake and exhaust. It looks like a bank of two and a bank of four at least. So Matthew, what are we looking at at the screen here? And are you? I'm sure you'll be popping this up uh, of course. on the viewer's uh, screen as well. What do we got? So honestly, this is one of the a better look than we typically get at some of these branch tees or you know, uh, when they're made from the dreaded polyvinyl fluoride, they're, they're affectionately known as Ys in the, uh, in the field, but we call them branch tees. And there's a ton of them here on both the intake and the exhaust, as you mentioned. And you can clearly see like the uniformity of them. This is one of those nice segmented kits that we make. And this is executed perfectly by Midwest Mechanical. Thank you to Dakota Supply Group, who sent them to Danny Michael at Michael Sales, who sent them to scratch golfer Bill Summers, Ooh. who sent them to Marketing Dynamo, me. And uh, now we look at them here on the podcast as I share them with you. So it is uh, definitely nice AO Smiths out there in Rapid City, South Dakota. I Our I, first winner from South Dakota. Yeah, I'm not is. fact checking it, but I'm 100% positive that South Dakota, this is your, uh, this is your time to shine. What is the state nickname of South Dakota? Uh, I have no clue. Black Rock State? Black, something like that? I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, I'm going we'll to have to throw it in some, 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 uh, some South Where Dakota. Where did that come from? I don't know. We're just out of name. South Dakota. You know, I've never been there. I've, that I, is, you've been, you know, you've been to Fargo. Uh, I've been to Fargo. Yeah, I have. Um, is Fargo in South Dakota? It's in North Dakota. Fargo. Yeah, whatever. The same. Right? So I was, you know, yeah. we were doing the zeros earlier. <laughs> Now we're doing our geography. Well, I said we wanted... Fargo is North Dakota. Actually. You're right, you're right, you are. And I uh, have is, been to Fargo. Is Mount Rushmore in South Dakota? You're going to make us look back. <laughs> is it in Wyoming? No, 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 no. I'm almost positive it's in one of the Dakotas. Okay. I've not been to Mount Rushmore. I've not either. Although, so I, you know, God, I can't... My apologies to our Instagram friend, and I'm forgetting who it was, but... I was just watching some Instagram lives with a, like a contractor. Oh yes, who, right. who was out there? I, and I forget who. They we, weren't from there. No, they were visiting. Was it yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's. Yeah. Uh, I mean, geez, Mount Rushmore has to be the number one most visited thing in whatever the hell those states are, right? Um, it has I'm to not be. sure where. Yeah, it's been bad. I should know. Yeah, I forget. As but much you, as I get around, you, I've not been there. Never yeah, been there. I've never been there either. Um, but either way, um, these water heaters are providing the hot water directly to Teddy Roosevelt's nostrils. And it's what an incredible installation these things really are uh, to get it back on point over here. I think we're looking at um, four and eight or four and ten inch here. So starting with what I think is four inch diameter, it's, kind of, it's a little tough to tell, yeah, I'm, obviously. I'm assuming it's three and eight or... Ooh, I think that's bigger than three. Because, um, I mean, it's at, it's, it's either three or... It's either three or four. We can tell that from the NRV of which we only yeah. make, we make them only in three inch and four inch, yeah. right? Uh, and so it's- Definitely not two. Correct. Um, and so I'm not sure either way, And but then the manifold obviously is much larger to handle the uh, the flue gas uh, load from this. So three and 10, you know, eyeballing it maybe? I don't know, three, six, three, 10, I'm, four? I'm thinking four, it's 10? It's four, I think it's four, eight or three, three six but they look a little bit bigger than we should have six. done more homework well i called midwest mechanical and they are out there um Do providing more providing heat to the, to the rest of the people in south dakota and whatnot so uh you know i will if i if, in between now and showtime if i uh if i get a call back now nothing against midwest mechanical i called them like five minutes ago so that's not <laughs> that's... maybe uh <laughs> you know doing the, the work producing this tonight possibly yeah so so usually that's Quick cut in here. As you can see, I'm editing the podcast, including the Show Us Your Pipe segment. But Brian Hermanson of Midwest Mechanical got back to me right as I was editing this stuff. So I wanted to pop this quick little bit in here. I'm just going to read you his email because it's great. It was nice speaking with me on the phone. That's me. <laughs> uh, and the, the job is at the National Guard camp. I asked him to go maybe get some videos, whatever. He's like, mm, I don't have the security clearance for that anymore. It's installed, it's done. Uh, these photos are all you get, but thank you. Uh, it's at building 802 
in uh, the National Guard camp in Rapid City, South Dakota. Building is used for military personnel that comes in for trainings overnight. Uh, he personally, that is Brian at Midwest, Midwest Mechanical, personally replaced all the venting. He's worked with the product a bunch before. He had a lot of uh, laudatory things to say. I won't bore you with all those accolades right now, but he, uh, he enjoys the product. He's familiar with it and he's used it many times. And now it is helping to provide hot water to our military personnel who are doing some kind of training in uh, Rapid City, South Dakota. So back to the show. I mean, just like with, uh, so Bill sent me a fun Monday message the other day. And uh, I was like, oh, can you get, you know, it was from George Johnston. Congratulations on your hole in one. Ah, hole in one, yes. You know, that's, uh, yeah. that's next week's Monday message. So give him a little preview on there for all the diehard Monday message folks out there, of which at least one exists. Uh, yeah, us, you know. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I, I did ask him for, like, can you get me a, a like a shot of George swinging a club or something like that? And he, it was, a, he, they filmed it after the round. So we do also have the Jason Barnes hole in one. Oh, well, <laughs> that's classic. Yes. Yes. Well, I, know, I showed that to something the other day. Who, uh, I showed it on the golf course. Uh, I took to Larry. Okay. Larry of WMS Sales, who was my golfing partner the other day. And I must say, I must say, it was the best round of Aspie golf that I participated in. No thanks to me. But uh, it's always I, about people you like. So the folks from RJ Murray, my band oh, mates yeah. from the Blue Hawk show. Oh, they were there? They are uh, the Ivan. Oh, very nice. So, so we we needed some more. Max couldn't make it. He was golfing like somewhere else. Guys, obviously in demand. Max, of course, was our golf our golf partner at uh, yes. uh, at the Aspen thing. He also worked for WMS. Uh, but no, I, I pulled up uh, my bandmates from Blue Hawk, and one of them, the both of them were have golfed more than I have, which is not saying much. Then, but the one guy, uh, Brian golfs with some frequency he, he, you know we're playing best ball yep and like uh, you know probably like 80 percent of them the shots let's say so it's, okay. it's good to have a you know, good guy he, he took second place in both longest drive and closest close to the end. End. so but george back to george hold one congrats yep. and uh let's transition to is it time to talk about the guest uh, uh, the pipe's been shown the pipes have been shown we've rambled <laughs> quite a bit on this one <laughs> Uh, so, uh, I think we're ready to roll, unless you have any parting words of wisdom. Too many, but I'll leave them for another time. Thank you very much. <laughs>